We're getting into wedding season here in Texas, and the last thing you want to worry about is what to wear. Here with a few options for how to look and feel your best as a guest at a spring wedding is Raquel Gregordian. Hi, Raquel. Hi, Vaz. You are looking as fresh and crisp <laughs> as a beautiful <laughs> spring day. I just have to say that. Thank you. And I know many of our viewers who may have uh, already RSVP'd for weddings may be like, oh, great, I'm going to this wedding, mm -hmm. but what am I going to wear? Absolutely. It can be a big stressor, but really it's an opportunity to, for you to kind of show your creativity. Mm -hmm. And in the spring, it's all about the color. So it's a really fun way to kind of bring it and make it really playful and energetic. So we have a few options today. Mm -hmm. So we have Liz right here who's looking absolutely beautiful. Yes. So for Liz, we put her in one of my favorite pieces of all time the jumpsuit. Yes. So this is great if you are one of those people who loves to go to the weddings and uh, you're really looking forward to dancing because you're always going to feel comfortable all night getting your groove on, uh, kind of dancing the night away. And then for spring, as I was saying, you always want to kind of bring in some color. So that doesn't have to be super, super bright. It can be your pastels too. And so for Liz's look, I've kind of brought in the blush, which is mm -hmm. a soft cool light color and then I've added the silver block heels now the silver plays into the white um, which are also two cool colors and then it goes back to her earrings now resin earrings is one of the biggest trends right mm -hmm. now and these ones are perfect for her look because you always want to think about with jewelry how is it playing into the rest of my look so for her earrings she's got kind of that lavender that blush in there and again it really plays into the colors in this jumpsuit so I love that she has gray buttons because I love blush and gray. Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. Like, is that a trend that's happening right now? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And so again, the gray is kind of that soft, cool light. This in particular is a heather gray. So again, those play really well into each other. And you know, if you didn't have resin hoops on hand, you could also play into those buttons through a silver hoop or kind of a silver chandelier as well. And then you also have the silver uh, heels, which are just that pop that you're always talking about. And also, I just have to point, uh, point out, I love that it buttons in the front because it will be easier to if you have to use the restroom, mm -hmm. right? Because we want our clothes to be <laughs> functional. We do. We want our clothes to be functional. Absolutely. Don't we? Yeah. Buttons are easier than a side zip. So look yes. for that if you're looking for a jumpsuit. Absolutely. Thank <laughs> you, Liz. Okay. And then we have ooh, me. We yes. Me. Yep. So now I love this dress because it's got a little bit of a sexy right. touch. It's a little bit off the shoulder, mm -hmm. which you can have little touches of sexy in what you wear to a wedding you just don't want to overdo it because it needs to be all about the bride now this dress is great again to add that but if you're the kind of woman that loves to dance the night away not as great of a cut as the jumpsuit but again adds that little romantic touch uh, now for you we've added this nude pump to play in to kind of that yellow and that mm -hmm. orange and those flowers so Liz had those soft light cool colors this is a little bit warmer a little bit brighter colors and so those really link together. And then I've popped a little bit of bling and you love your bling. Yes, you know I love my <laughs> bling, yes. So we have this super, super bright blue through the earring uh, to kind of dress it up. Now, a lot of weddings, the reason why people stress a lot is the formality. Sometimes it, it's unclear about how dressy or dressed down they're mm -hmm. gonna be. So with a blingy earring, you can kind of you know, know that you're more appropriate if it does end up being mm -hmm. more formal, but it also doesn't feel, you know, too much like a full length for a satin gown or something like that as well. I was just going to ask, was this dress be more uh, appropriate for an evening wedding? Or is this daytime and evening as well? Well, so it could be any time mm -hmm. of day. It could even be morning too, if it really? is a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more formal mm -hmm. wedding. So it's really, you know, you want to look at the dress code and then also on the invite, I'm kind of seeing actually how the invite looks should give you some clues really? as to how the wedding is actually going okay, to be. Okay, see, I had no idea. I just <laughs> learned that as well. Okay, so let's talk about you because you're like the most precious flamingo right now. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love what you're wearing. Walk me through this. Yeah, so I love bright colors. Mm -hmm. so when when I talk about spring going into color, I love the boldest, mm -hmm. uh, the most kind of eclectic ones. And if you do love your bright colors, feel free to really incorporate them. This is supposed to be a fun occasion. Mm -hmm. It's celebratory and color is all about celebrating. And so what you can do with the color is not only incorporate a bright like this hot pink, but pop other colors off of it. So I've got the Turk in the necklace, mm -hmm. uh, which the again, Turk, the Turk, <laughs> meaning the turquoise, Yes, the turquoise <laughs> in the necklace. Okay. You got that. So it's that light. <laughs> <laughs> clear warm color that again plays into the clarity of the hot pink mm -hmm. and then I've also linked this necklace to my shoes I love so that. you've got those playing into each mm -hmm. other too and then again you pop all the colors 
It's uh, super fun. And then your earrings also, I just want to point out to you, because these actually remind me of like Carrie Bradshaw's Sex in the City. <laughs> <laughs> like she used to wear earrings like that, remember? So I absolutely love this with the pink. And then also your bag real quick. Can we just talk about that? Yes. So, okay, I love playing into mm -hmm. kind of where the wedding is going to take place. So if it's a garden wedding, playing into those florals. If it's a beach wedding, get fun with it. I love that. So yeah, if you're going to be on the beach, shell clutch, shell earrings, you can incorporate different kind of uh, patterns that really play into that that vibe of the of the wedding and, and help you to really get into it too well this all seems so easy and doable and for our uh, women at home who are watching what's one action that they can take to upgrade their look for spring well, so one of the things that I would say, and this kind of applies all year mm -hmm. round, is to know that you are creative. Mm -hmm. So I think people are so afraid that they're doing it wrong, mm -hmm. so they shy away and they go back um, to, you know, black the standards, Default. whatever they do. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, and then it becomes unexciting, unfun. And so really what I want all women to understand is that they are creative. So get in your wardrobe, mix and match. You know, you intuitively know what works and what doesn't. So uh, you know, lend your eye, look at it and say, okay, is this working? If not, okay, do I switch the earring? Do I switch the shoe? Play around and then when you get it right, you will know, you'll see it. You will know and also you are here to help us. Yes. Thank you so much, Raquel. And to learn more about Raquel's personal styling and shopping services at GreerImageConsulting.com, you can also find wardrobe inspiration and styling tips on her Instagram at Raquel Greer Gordian.